This is my pneumatic bike. This video is long overdue looking into the mechanics of an air-powered bike, along with a little commentary should you desire to do this yourself. First off, you should not do this. A normal bicycle is roughly 90% efficient, somewhat higher I believe. The roller chain that connects the front sprocket to the rear sprocket is an extremely efficient machine. And you notice on this guy, there's quite a few steps between the front and the rear. In fact, the power travels up this big old 3D printed pulley. This is a one-way clutch so that you can glide through this Viton belt to electric air compressor. This is a hybrid machine in that I have a battery so I can run the compressor off battery, but I can also run it off just the pedals thusly. Now, the compressor air outputs through this copper hose into a three gallon through this regulator to control the speed. And then we have the output line. I did add a uh, little air tire refiller in case I need that. All the way down here to the air motor. This is sort of the reason I built this in the first place. I really wanted to understand how, well, mainly hydraulics worked and pneumatics are at least similar while being a lot less expensive. This whole motor ran about $200 in parts. They're all from Automation Direct, all the uh, valves, pistons, really just the valves and pistons, and even actually the fittings and the uh, hoses. Very nice website, easy to use. So, this is a pushing and pulling piston running off of a cam here. This valve controls, hello Nettie, please don't knock the bike over. This valve controls this valve, which controls which side of the cylinder is pressurized and which side is exhausting. So this is the pilot that's running off of here. That's shuffling a cylinder inside here back and forth, powering this side. So pressure in here and exhaust out here. And then when the cylinder or when this loses power, a spring pops it back, putting pressure to here and exhausting out this side. Exhaust is the front and rear. We collect both of those again. You can see there and there. And as an added safety, this is another part of the control system of the bike. When this is closed, there's no exhaust, therefore the bike does not go. So right now the regulator is open. If I close that, start to pressurize. If I open this, start to move. So the biggest part about this was, can you do it? 3D printed cam, offset. Oh, and you'll notice this is a nice square arrangement here. I did that so I can line these up and these are 90 degrees out of phase. So at any given point, one of these is pushing on the top. The other will be, um, sort of uh, dead center, where it can neither push nor pull. All right, and take this guy outside, and go for a spin. So you can see the bike does work. However, I am not able to pedal fast enough to keep it moving steady state, which is why this is a hybrid and not just a pneumatic bicycle. This is the compressor motor running at 10% volume. Full speed. You can see it uh, puts a lot of air in the tank and makes the bike work really well. 